for me, wearing the bees, it's about communing with another species. I have talked to so many people about fear and bees, and they tell me how they were chased when they were kids. Because they see me wearing the bees, I think that they realize that you can be not afraid of nature. This is the fourth bee dance um, I've done. It's me and 12,000 insects. It's sensual. At the same time, you know that there's this fierceness. We spend a lot of time getting prepared. Today, we're looking for the queen. You have to look really keenly to make sure that you're not missing her, because then you have to start all over. We put the queen in a little spaceship, I like to call it. The queen is amazing because she's laying all the eggs, and I'll be wearing her, so they're following her pheromone. It will take them a little while to land and find her, but once they come, they will fly down upon me like I'm inside the tornado. I really try and stay calm when they're on me. It's a little uncomfortable. They, they pinch and sort of hold on, and they're very loud. They have a, a beautiful hum that's happening. The more I dance with the bees, it becomes more natural. For me, it's really a duet. You know, we're dancing together. And this time I'm going to integrate the work that I do helping people heal based on helping people break an emotional or a physical pattern. Lots of people are interested in just connecting to nature, so that's one of their focuses. I really want people to have a little transcendence. I had no idea what to expect. The power of the bees along with the serenity was an incredible mix. I was concerned about everybody because there were so many bees in the air because of the winds. They kept getting sort of uplifted and normally they're more collected on the body. The first time the bees crawled on my face, I yelped and I was like, oh God. And then they, they just kept happening and then finally towards the end of it, I, just, I was welcoming it and it was a great experience. Now I don't have like the barrier of fear keeping me from getting too close. Where we are in the world, we're not really being good to most things in nature. So how do we educate people, or how do we change the minds of people, and how do we give them new experience? And I think it's just taking notice, and once you take notice, then you start maybe changing the way that your actions are.